everybody, I'm here today to tell you how to tell if your engine is misfiring. I'll be going over some warning signs that you should listen for, feel for, and look for that will allow you to know whether or not your engine is misfiring. Let's get right into the video. Number one is a loss of power. If your engine is by any chance misfiring, then you will experience a loss of power. So you got to keep your eyes and ears and feel for that loss of power. Keep your eyes and ears peeled and feel for that loss of power. Now obviously there are many things that can cause engine power being lost over the years of owning a car and misfiring is actually only one of them but what you're looking for is a significant loss of power. If your car has 120 horsepower and it feels like it has 120 horsepower then you didn't lose any power but if your car regularly feels like it has 200 then all of a sudden it feels like it has 90 yeah you lost some power okay. Warning sign number two is the engine is hard to start. When your car is misfiring, it's not giving the proper, it's not getting the proper spark that it needs. So with that being said, if your engine is hard to start, then your engine, it's sending you a signal that it's not getting the proper spark, the proper air, or the proper amount of gas to create that combustion that it needs to actually start. So if you notice that your engine is hard to start, it definitely could be a sign that your engine is misfiring. Number three, emissions have gone up. When your engine misfires, fires it buel it, it, it buels it burns fuel I was combining those two words it burns fuel very inefficiently which will cause your emissions to go up now obviously you won't really notice your emissions going up unless you take it for an emissions test in which case if it doesn't pass the emissions test it could be because of your engine misfiring okay number four is popping sounds coming from the engine now this one is a little bit more rare but if you hear some popping sounds coming from the engine it could be misfires um it doesn't necessarily have to happen like when your engine misfires it doesn't necessarily make a popping sound but sometimes it does number five uh, increased fuel consumption. Like I said before, when your engine is misfiring, it's not burning fuel efficiently. And because it's burning fuel very inefficiently, that causes um, your gas mileage to be worse. So if you notice your gas mileage getting progressively worse and worse and worse, that's a huge sign that uh, you, your engine might be misfiring, okay? Number six, exhaust backfiring, okay? Now exhaust um, usually backfires when there's like unburnt fuel coming out of the exhaust and it creates like a popping sound. So if you notice that your exhaust is backfiring, it could be a huge sign that your engine is misfiring because that unburnt fuel, because of the inefficient fuel burning process, because of the misfire, will create that backfire sound, that pop pop sound coming from the exhaust. Number seven is a rough idle. So if your engine is misfiring, it's not going to be, the cylinders might go out of whack and it's not going to be firing properly. It's going to be way more noticeable when you're at idle, when your car is not moving. When you're driving fast, it'll be less noticeable, but the vibration and the misfiring sounds and feelings that will be experienced will be much more noticeable at idle. So if your idle is really rough, the car is shaking and the engine bay is sort of shaking roughly, you know, that's a sign of misfire. Number eight is rough acceleration. If you're accelerating and specifically when you are gassing it, it's rough, that's because your cylinders are not able to create that combustion properly. It's going to be rough when your car is trying to draw that power from the acceleration. Last but not least, um, number nine would be your engine stalling out randomly. So if you notice, like at random times your engine just stalls out, that's a huge sign of misfiring. Um, there could be other things, but other things that cause an engine to stall would usually cause it to stall consistently in certain situations. If it's stalling out randomly, that's a big sign that it's likely going to be your engine misfiring. But that's it. That is how to tell if your engine is misfiring. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.